Hi, thank you for watching a new video blog. Do I use salt on the primal diet? A viewer asked me this question, what do you think about salt? First, let me say that I do use some salt, but I have reduced my intake of salt dramatically because on a primal diet you basically won't consume any salt or a very few salt. So if you see my diet, uh, raw milk, there's no salt in it, uh, raw eggs, there's no salt in it, you don't need any salt to eat it. Then uh, for lunchtime I take some meats, most of the time raw, sometimes there's salami or prosciutto, maybe there's some salt in it, um, but this is on a very rare occasion that I take more than a few days of salami, mostly just one day and the next day I take some raw meats, unprocessed, uh, not fer uh, fermented, um, I would better say, because oh, in a way salami is processed, but it's fermented, so it's a natural processing. Um, and then for, the, for my dinner I also take meats or fish and uh, there I use some salt sometimes to um, um, add a little bit flavor. So I do use salt, but I use it very uh, sparingly. Um, in that way you can use salt and salt can be beneficial. This, so the first rule is you have to do the primal diet correctly. Uh, you have to follow it uh, like a naturally, natural diet. And in this way you already remove all the salt immediately. Because if you, for example, eat a standard diet, or maybe like what I did in, the, in, in my early days, 15 years ago, the Atkins diet, low carb diets, you will eat a lot of processed, low carb things, uh, and in normal diet you eat a lot of processed foods. And the processed foods are the, the worst. They consume a lot of salt um, and artificial flavors and all these other uh, bad, harmful things for you. So by changing to the primal diet, you already eliminate the overuses of salt directly. So what's left is you, for, for what I do and what I would say to somebody that wants to start a primal diet is use salt wisely and use the good kind of salt. To use it wisely is that for, I can imagine that you are not uh, able directly to eat every day a raw steak. Maybe you want to cook it first and then you start to cook it very rare. And of course you want to add some salt because you haven't been used to eating without a lot of salt. So it is very good to um, do for uh, a steak or a pork belly or chicken and add some salt to it. And if this is the only moment in the day that you are consuming salt, it isn't harmful. It isn't more than uh, 10 grams. And you have to remember that babies are, will consume less than one gram a day, maybe uh, lower. So. Is it harmful for you to consume salt? No, if you do it in this way. For, like I say, if you have one moment in the day where you add some salt, it is uh, a good way of um, adding a bit extra flavor, especially if you want to change to a uh, raw primal diet. Uh, but you have to choose also the, the good kind of salt, because you can have like table salt, the regular salt, which look very uh, it's very refined. It's the one that you buy in the supermarket. Very, very thin, very small. Um, it looks bleached, and it's basically every uh, particle is is as equal as the same. It just looks uh, much like the same. I stopped using table salt. I just removed it. I threw it away uh, because it's basically so processed that it hasn't any minerals left. It's only just saltness. And there's just some chloride and natrium in it, but it's not enough to be healthy. And you will quickly use a lot of it because it's just so... It doesn't contain anything, so you will need a lot to, um, to get the effect of uh, saltening. I use now Celtic sea salt. Uh, it's a grey, has a grey color. It has many minerals and nutrients in it. And like I say, I use it only one time a day. Uh, maybe I don't even use it uh, in a day, but for example, when I want to uh, eat a cooked steak or uh, eat something else that I that I cook, because I'm not a hardcore primal dieter, I am like 90% primal dieter, but I do 
see a, a reason to cook and fry. I don't see it as that harmful if you do it in a, in a controlled way. But I use Celtic sea salt. It's a, it's it's a lot more expensive than of course the supermarket salt, but it is worth it. And you uh, will use it in fewer amounts than that you will do with the table salt. Um, Celtic sea salt, so it's it's found um, at the French coasts. That's why the Celtic uh, derives from. Uh, there's more nutrients and minerals in it. Uh, it's more uh, mineral dense than the stable salt. Celtic sea salt is also be found in a natural way and not be processed artificially. It's it's a natural traditional way of of, of getting the sea salt and. There's, for example, more calcium and calcium in it, and it's it's a more, it's a healthier choice. It's very mineral rich, so you really your body really gets something out of it besides make spicing your uh, your your food a bit up, uh, adding a bit of saltiness to your food. The last thing why I am agreeing on using salt for myself uh, is that I went to Africa, Kenya, and Uganda, and on the traditional markets. In the remote areas, I found out that people would be selling a uh, liquorized salt. They had these rocks, and they uh, would uh, break something off, and they would uh, sell it. And if you took this liquorized rock, it looks like a rock, and you just bit it off. It just was like salt. It broke easily, and this the, the taste was delicious. It was like liquorized. Um, and they used it. It was just like a treat to them, or they cooked with it. So. I see that this has, maybe it's not 100% primal, but that I think this is one of these gray areas. And I see that um, like in, in primitive areas, people used it. So uh, for me, this was a sign that I'm not too harshly on uh, condemning using salt. It might not be a hardcore uh, primal diet, but I think that uh, if you use it, like I say, wisely and the right kind of uh, salt, that it is suitable in a way of primal. Of course you have to find ways to lower it, it will be best, but I am uh, I'm not really hung up on this thing. Uh, use the right salt, use it in a good amount, and uh, this, is my, this is my opinion, my view on it. Uh, like I said, it might not be uh, fully uh, raw primal or whatever, but that's, uh, that's okay for me. We don't have to do, uh, it's not a religion or something, it's just a way to improve our lives, our, our health and our uh, mental state, and it is by eating good foods, uh, natural, raw foods. So that was it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.